Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Here's the question, like how long can you make people live under these pressures? So obviously we're at the stage where we've had 120 people die. That number's going to increase. Um, yep. Probably everyone, I don't know if you guys believe the number that like, hey, 70% of Amer people in America are going to get this thing at some point. We're, you know, people are freaking out because they're seeing celebrities or, or athletes or whatever getting it. Right. We're all right. going to get this thing. Some people are going to die, unfortunately, but it's forever now. Can we actually live in this super compressed state for an extended period of time? No. And I made a video about the NRA show being canceled, but in that, that was like the headline. But mm -hmm. I talked about initial thoughts on Corona, and this was like five days ago, so I really saw, dated. Yeah, but, I, saw the, I but, saw the video. But my big takeaway, in my opinion, was regardless of how it ends up playing out, and nobody knows, but... This is going to bankrupt more people, in my opinion, in America than it's going to yeah. kill. Mm -hmm. And yeah, a lot well, of my, I, I run, you know, several businesses. So a lot of my friends tend to be business owners. It's just kind of the way it is. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are brick and mortar, small business owners. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. they're pretty much done. Yeah, like, they can't, they can't they, survive being closed for thirty days. They can't. No. And whatever, mm -hmm. and whatever government relief comes, it's going to be too late. Yeah. I saw, um, I, I saw just, uh, you know, um, I saw a local business that I know on Facebook, like, hey, you guys who owe me money, you need to pay me money. I was like, okay, good luck with that. Yep. <laughs> you know, because maybe a week ago, it was all good to say to someone, oh, yeah, you know, pay us later. <laughs> if I didn't even realize people were still doing that. But yeah, that's true. There's lots of brick and mortars that are that forget about. You know, if you're not in that, if so, let's say for example, all the dollar dollar stores and things like that, people are going in there and buying up all the toilet paper in the world. Uh, Roy, sure. Roy is the one who's <laughs> stockpiling it, as you guys can see. You know, dollar General, that. baby. Yeah, it's Dollar gold. General, yeah. found it gold. today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but there's other businesses that that don't have that, right, Mike? If you're if you're a landscaper, if you're this thing or that thing, you don't have that. One of my friends who lives right in a condo, like right there mm -hmm. uh she she runs she owns two yoga studios mm -hmm. yeah yeah who's going to hot yoga now nobody's going yeah but you might be safe in hot yoga right they probably would actually yeah but the, the <laughs> you know but she has instructors to pay yeah. she's got mm -hmm. rent to pay utilities to pay property taxes none of that stuff's going away mm -hmm. because okay. people aren't showing up you know? yeah. If you run a restaurant or a bar, I mean, the restaurant, the bars have been ordered closed, I believe, in Iowa. I'd have to double check that. Mm -hmm. uh, restaurants are pretty much doing takeout only in a lot of states. Yeah. Same here. If, if you own yeah. a hotel, if you do, if you run any sort of business that depends on large gatherings of people. Uh, I remember reading about, uh, for example, the Houston Ra Rodeo and Stock Show that got canceled. How many vendors mm -hmm. show up to that? Mm -hmm. And that's their cash cow every year, mm -hmm. pardon the pun. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, that's where they make their money, and it just got canceled. Canceled and they're just they're just up a certain creek with no paddle. Now. Yeah. Well, and look at I mean our industry. Like I said, the NRA show got canceled. I mean, obviously, I'm sure you're not going to throw it out there, Roy. But mm -hmm. Brownells, I'm sure, spent a ton of money getting mm -hmm. ready for that, and that money's gone. It's not coming we were, back. We were well, we we <laughs> we were we were getting ready, and uh, we were planning to drive just so we didn't have a whole bunch of you know unrefundable airline tickets. But we were we saw it oh, yeah. potentially get canceled, so we were all planning to drive. So. Yeah. All right. No. Yeah, I talked to another company that spent thirty thousand dollars on their booth. Yeah, yeah. it's expensive. Is is um so that's a good question, yeah. Mike. Do we know if NRA is refunding money to people who paid for booths up front? And then obviously you have to construct your booth. You have to rent your booth, right? Right. So, yeah. So so I I don't know from the NRA. I mm -hmm. do not know that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, but that's a that's a thing to think about. And then let's think about this. Not only in Vegas, for example. So here's what I'm saying. Oh yeah. With me, for example, NRA. Um, the show, the NRA show was going the same time as the broadcasting show, and I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna do the broadcasting show because I'm already pissed off at the NRA." And then that got canceled. <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, fine, I'll go to NRA." That got canceled. But Vegas is gonna is gonna run into some big problems here pretty oh, soon. Yeah, as a center. MGM, all the MGM property. MGM shuts down Monday. Yeah. yeah, all the properties. Yeah, and then what about so? And then even in so, like the uh, NRA show was gonna be in Tennessee this year. 
Yeah. I don't know how friendly they are exactly to the to the gun guys because I think the Grand Ole Opry they were supposed to have an auction there I saw and then they were like no we don't want you doing your your auction here but there's lots of cities things that that would thrive off of let's say a hundred and fifty thousand people say, being in the town you know for that time period what happens to those guys and do you think like the stimulus stuff they're talking about is going to help with that oh wait, did we lose Roy I think he just closed his screen yeah but I mean again if you're if you're seeking if you're looking for solutions in the government mm -hmm. you're looking in the wrong place and if you don't understand that just take a look at a gas can in 2020 versus 1990 right that's their solution to a problem mm -hmm. uh you can't even fill it mm -hmm. but the the answer is it's going to be too little too late mm -hmm. uh, the, the federal government mm -hmm. especially is simply too big and has too many layers of bureaucracy to do anything effective at the local level mm -hmm. local governments are always more effective mm -hmm. it's not like a theory that's been proven mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. i mean that's just what it is and Honestly, it might it may help some. It may help in terms of the macro level of the GDP of our economy. It may help a dip, not dip as far or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. That may be possible, but long term, mm -hmm. I mean, but short term, no. I mean, it's it's not it's not going to help. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm trying to come back here. Can you still hear me? Yeah, we can hear yeah, you. you. Yeah, you're you're right. you're you're fully back. So how long? By the way, let me get this in while Roy's here because uh, Flying Rich. Give us a couple of bucks here. He says, Roy, can you get me into the BOP? I'll, I'll answer this for you, Roy. No, no, Flying <laughs> no. Rich. No, the BOP is closed for business. <laughs> You're closed for Corona right now. We're closed for corona. Yeah, that's right. You had yeah, your chance. The coronavirus came. It's over. No. <laughs> For like a twelve pack of, of quilted northern, I'll see what I can do. Uh, is that it? Is that all it takes? You're gonna have you're gonna have a lot of toilet paper Dude, coming at a, you. A twelve pack of quilted northern could you like get you like a, a what used to be a five thousand dollar used car these days? You kidding me? Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like a dowry instead of you know trading goats and and, and chickens yeah. as a bride price. Yeah. Now it's it's quilted northern. Yeah, I was right. telling Roy to do the. Have you so Mike? I know you've seen the cash phone meme, right? Yeah, I was telling Roy to do the cash phone meme with the, with the, with the toilet paper. <laughs> there you go. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. He's a baller. He's a baller right now. Um, T-P-O-G, yeah. Yeah. How long do you guys think it's going to be before the local governments that are buying into all this say, hey, you know what? We're actually killing our economies here. You know, how long do you think it's going to be? Or you think they're just going to stick with whatever the government says right now? So I, honestly, I think it's just going to depend on where you live. There's, uh, you know, in urban areas where people tend to be more focused on government dependence, it's going to be longer. Mm -hmm. uh, more rural areas, it's going to be shorter. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just that's yeah. how it's going to be. The people are going to demand it, a stop to it. Yeah, and I think this is. Or, go ahead. Or there will just be or there will just be simple disobedience, like I said, and they'll be like, your orders are not legal. So yeah. no. Yeah, I think um, I think I saw you saying this somewhere, Mike. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but you were talking about the difference of like living in a city <laughs> and living in the country. Mm -hmm. Some people might realize why the country is so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, that's I, that's a whole video on itself. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's yeah. definitely differences in culture and, mm -hmm. and just just dependency and independence that you have mm -hmm. there, just because everything's not 20 minutes away. You know that you need so there's there's just an inherent yeah um ind independence that you build yeah you're already you're already doing it i mean i know lola and i live in the we don't live in gainesville itself and i don't even th i don't even consider gainesville a city i don't know technically what gainesville is but yeah you guys don't live i've been to your places it's yeah. definitely not the <laughs> you know so gainesville's not the city and where we live is definitely country um and mm -hmm. so yeah you have like we have our own well you know i think the thing i would need the most is electricity Right. Um, we've probably got food there, but I'll be honest with you guys. I've never eaten a squirrel, but I do have. I noticed well, I my can, squirrels are extra big this year. On that, Hank. Huh? I could help ease your pain on oh. squirrels, Hank. Yeah. I got lots of recipes. Oh, okay. There may or may not be a lot of geese consumed around yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> have you got. OK, I know I'm not even going to ask Roy this because I know Roy likes eating all kinds of crazy exotic meat. Uh, what about you guys in care? <laughs> Uh, it's not something I seek out, but I totally have. Mm -hmm. I've eaten just about everything. Oh, okay. That you can, 
Oh, okay. All right. Just to try it. I'm, I'm definitely not afraid of it. That's for oh, sure. Oh, okay. You're, so you're ready for the apocalypse, right? Well, I mean, as much as I can be. Yeah. I, I, could, I, could, I have no problem eating random animals. Yeah. Uh, that I can tell you. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.